Efforts continue to meet the needs of the growing West Fargo School District. Right now, work is underway on a new elementary school south of 52nd Avenue and east of Cheyenne. A location was just selected for a new middle school to the south of that, and plans are also in the works for a new high school expected in that area. For students, it will likely mean transitioning, and that was the focus of discussion tonight. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly joins us in the studio to explain how tonight's meeting played out. Katie? Mike, Andrea, five different scenarios to transition students to new schools were presented in tonight's meeting with educators, board members, parents, and students. After re reviewing each option in an astonishing vote, 100% of the room voted for the so-called scenario three. In this scenario, in 2020, grades six through nine would attend the new middle school. In 2021, ninth and 10th graders would transition to the new high school, and from there, the school would slowly grow each year as new freshman class would come in. People discussed that they liked this option because they see it as a more seamless transition where students attending Cheyenne High School never have to switch schools amid their high school career, and it would eliminate the overcrowding experience at Cheyenne High School. I wanted to go to the new school at a point just to have new opportunities, but I feel like staying at Cheyenne will help kind of grow our class together. Students attending the new middle school are coming from Liberty, Deer Creek, and Horace. The options weighed included consideration of overcrowding, easy transition for students and staff, how classes and athletics would be impacted, and proper utilization of the new spaces. The decision tonight about their transition will be brought to the school board on January 28th, where the final decision will be made. Mike. All right, thanks, Katie. And that next meeting is at the end of January. They're looking to define curricular programs for the new schools.